Hey, it's Chase with Legend Suspensions, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Great Depression. Oh. I'm being told now the video is actually on suspension compression, which would make a lot more sense because I wasn't around for the Great Depression. Classes in session. This is usually the part where everybody rolls their eyes at me. All right, hey, Chase with Legend Suspensions here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about compression. It's a very, very simple topic. It's a very, very simple feature, and it makes a huge difference to the ride quality of your bike. Both the piggyback model, as well as the remote reservoir model are gonna have compression adjustment. The compression adjustment is done on this dial here on the remote reservoir model, or it is done on the top of the reservoir on the piggyback model. Now, this has a needle valve inside of it, and when you turn that, it's gonna allow you to manipulate the flow of oil and make your shock stiffer or softer, depending on your preference. The first and foremost important part of that adjustment is making sure that your suspension sag is set correctly first. If you don't know how to set your suspension sag, we have a how to set suspension sag on the Revo Arcs article on our website in our help center. So we suggest checking that out for sure. Now, when it comes to what setting you might like, these are general settings. So they are very much what you feel and what you feel is the most comfortable. That means that we don't necessarily have a, hey, you weigh this much, hey, your preference is this, put it on this particular setting. It's gonna be up to the end user to do some experimenting with these settings to find exactly what it is that they like best. So when you turn this compression adjuster, you're gonna have seven clicks or seven turns. So clockwise turns all the way until it stops is going to be the stiffest setting. That's gonna be setting one, where we would generally recommend setting this when you're starting out on the tuning process is from all the way clockwise turned where it stops backing it off about three or four turns. That's gonna put you kind of right in the middle and that's gonna give you a really good happy medium of soft and firm so that you can make your fine tuning adjustments after that. If you go counterclockwise from the fully closed position or setting one, you'll go basically to setting seven and that's gonna be your softest setting. Now, where in the middle you land really doesn't matter. All that matters is it's your bike, it's your shocks you need to be comfortable. So when you're adjusting your compression, it's really important that that's the only thing that you're adjusting because you're gonna end up chasing your tail if you make a bunch of compression adjustments and a bunch of rebound adjustments. You're not gonna figure out where this is fine tuned for you. So if you wanna set compression first, set it, then work on your rebound. That will eliminate the amount of variables you have in the fine tuning of the suspension. You'll have this set exactly where you like it. So for instance, when you're going through a corner, if you hit a bump and your suspension feels too soft on the compression stroke, you would simply turn this clockwise and that's gonna firm it up. That's gonna make the shock feel stiffer and that's gonna give potentially a more sporty feel for however it is that you're riding. If you hit a bump in a corner and it feels too stiff, you would go counterclockwise and that's gonna soften it up for you. When it comes to that rebound adjustment like I was talking about, we do have on the website in our help center a how to adjust rebound for Revo Arcs article that you can view there for um, specifics on how to do that. So it's pretty important to make sure you read through the install guide once you've got these mounted on your bike correctly because it's gonna give you some really important information on making sure the starting point and settings that you have on these shocks is just that. It's a good starting point for you to go ride the bike and decide what parameter needs to be adjusted, whether it's compression or rebound, to get exactly what you're looking for. 
So we hope this gives you some information. We'd be happy to answer any questions you have. We do have a very cool new help center and that has an article on compression adjustment, an article on sag and setup, as well as an article on rebound for not only the Revo arcs, but for all of our suspension. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on Tech Tuesday. And then just like stare for a second and then you just start the intro. Class is in session. This is usually the part where everybody rolls their eyes at me. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it without laughing. And the video is always like, I need to quit smiling before the video starts. Cause in some videos I'm like already like smiling. They're like, what are they even talking about? Yeah. I apologize. Apparently the video is <laughs> on suspension compression. We're gonna have six, uh, seven, dang it. I lost my train of thought. Do that. Yeah. <laughs>